Hello and welcome to NAFDAQ and Your Health, where we bring you all the important information you need to know about NAFDAQ. The agency is saddled with the responsibility of safeguarding our health by ensuring that the foods, drugs, cosmetics and medical equipment made available to us are safe and wholesome. My name is Tosin Adebayo. Last week on the program, we began a broadcast marking the annual World Food Safety Day by highlighting some of NAFDAQ's affirmative actions to curb the menace of food falsification, contamination, and other misconducts that could result in unsafe foods in Nigeria. Today, we continue in that same mood of commemoration. NAFDAQ, as part of events to mark this most important day, organized a symposium to further enlighten its staff and indeed stakeholders on the importance of vigorously safeguarding the health of the nation by ensuring that our foods are safe. The event, which held at the agency's Lagos headquarters, was a hybrid event that saw NAFDAQ officers join in via the internet, including the Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye. The occasion of the World Safety Day is an added opportunity for us to create and generate awareness around food safety and situate it as a very significant issue of public health concern, especially in the light of safe, wholesome food being important for boosting immunity and improving the body's natural defenses in fighting diseases. The COVID-19 pandemic that is ending by God's grace, uh, the treatment has been linked to many immune boosters. That is why eating right is extremely important. Where food is unsafe, our nutritional goals cannot be achieved. Safe food is an essential component of sustainable development and contributes towards improvement of public health, poverty reduction, and increased food security. The theme, safer food, better health, is very relevant to us in Nigeria as a large proportion of the foods we consume are produced by micro and small scale producers. These include our smallholder farmers, street food vendors, the traditional open and the traditional open food markets. These are important players whose activities fall within the informal sector and they constitute a significant part of our national food supply. Their activities are therefore of concern regarding safe food practices or lack of it. These foods are frequently exposed to less than hygienic and sanitary conditions resulting in contamination and leading to incidences and outbreaks of foodborne diseases which are already becoming significant food safety concerns. Unsafe foods are the cause of many diseases and contribute to other poor health conditions such as impaired growth and development. We know that food safety is a shared responsibility and everyone has a role to play in ensuring we have safer food for better health, from growers to processors to transporters, sellers, buyers, and those who prepare or serve food. Policymakers, educational institutions, and workplaces as well as consumers are not left out. Food safety is the responsibility of all. We must all work together to help achieve safer food for better health and for relative personal peace and world peace. The call to action on this occasion of World Food Safety Day goes out to four groups and of stakeholders. First, policymakers and food regulators are called to one, design all public procurements of 
food, such as food aid, school feeding, and other publicly owned food outlets so that consumers can access safe and healthy foods. Second is to support policy measures and legal frameworks to strengthen the national food safety system and ensure it complies with food safety standards and regulations. And lastly, to encourage and engage in multi-sectoral collaboration with local, national, regional, and global levels. The second category is the food businesses, and this group is called to engage employers, suppliers, and other stakeholders to grow and develop a food safety culture, and also to comply with international and national food standards. The third group is the educational institutions and workplaces, and these sectors are called to promote safe food handling, engage with families and involve families in food safety activities, and support food safety education. The fourth group is the consumer group, and this group is called to practice safe food handling at home and follow the WHO's five keys to safer food, which is keep clean, separate raw and cooked, or cooked food thoroughly, keep food at safe temperatures, and use safe water and raw materials. This group, consumer group, is also called to keep informed and promote food safety. Learn about food safety uh, is another uh, call to action for the consumers. Now that, as a key sector in the Nigerian food safety system, has a responsibility to into global best practices that ensure that food placed on the market for sale is safe, wholesome, nutritious, and of good quality. We have seen this opportunity of the World Food Safety Day to put together this capacity building event for staff, and I believe that it will provide an additional layer of awareness and knowledge on food safety, as well as embed a food safety culture that will go beyond the celebration of World Food Safety Day today and make us true advocates to ensure consumption of safe foods in order to improve health outcomes. On this note, I declare this capacity building event in commemoration of the fourth World Food Safety Day open and wish you all a successful enjoyable and healthy day safer food and better health to all thank you very much the importance of the grave danger of unsafe food cannot be overemphasized and so navdac is putting all hands on deck to deal with this challenge we've styled this as a hybrid event so we'll have our officers from uh, all the Lagos uh, offices, Lagos formations, and we'll have officers also from the states and our zonal offices also join into the um, event. We're going to have presentations. We're going to show videos on the food safety incidents, just generally creating that awareness and projecting food safety as a serious um, public health issue. There are statistics from the WHO global estimates on uh, the global estimates of the burden of foodborne borne diseases. And from that statistics, we can tell, we are told that um, it's reported that about one in 10 people globally suffer from um, food borne illnesses on account of having eaten contaminated food. And about 420,000 of these people actually die. And that it is um, disproportionately affecting vulnerable um, populations, this, especially our under fives. And this is something that needs to be uh, given real serious attention. If we bring that home to Nigeria, 
Um, sadly, we don't have uh, data, accurate data that we can rely on, but we, it is also reported that about 200,000 people every year um, have one form of foodborne illness or the other. And so this is an opportunity to put the word out there, send out the message on food safety, anchoring on the WHO's five keys to safer food which is something that we're going to project. And it's just all around how to be hygienic when you prepare food and serve food or even eat food. So that means wash your hands before you consume food. When you are in your home, separate your cooked food from the raw food, store food at the right temperatures, use um, good quality drinking water, quality water, or rather should I say portable um, water, and just all of those good practices that ensure that when you eat or when you prepare, when you serve food, it's uh, safe for the consumer to eat because foodborne illnesses are a real, um, they're a real problem. Representatives of some directorates of NAFDAC, like food safety and applied nutrition, food registration, veterinary medicine and allied products, and so on, took turns to enlighten the audience on several food safety issues, including issues of food fraud. Food fraud could be understood as the intentional deception of a customer or a consumer for an undue advantage, economic or not. So in context, what food fraud is actually telling us is that key characteristics is that whoever that is committing that crime, it is deliberate, it's intentional, and it is for a reason, for economic gain, for monetary gain to deceive consumers. And when we are looking at food fraud, is also, we are looking at it along the food supply chain. And what I mean by food supply chain is from the farm to the fork, the process line, okay? Because if a fraudulent uh, product is used in manufacturing of a particular product, of course we know that the table, the safety is not assured. NAFTA and your health will be right back. Please stay tuned. As part of NAFDAQ concerted effort to prevent incessant food poisoning and to safeguard the health of the nation, the agency wishes to advise the general public to take the following precautionary measures in food handling. Chemicals are not food. So, do not taste with your tongue. It is dangerous to health and it can kill. It is dangerous to cook your meat with paracetamol or any drug. It can damage your liver, kidneys or other organs. Do not ripen your fruits with calcium carbide. It can cause cancer or damage the kidneys or liver. It is dangerous to use sniper to keep insects and other flies away from any food products. Cooking does not remove sniper. Do not consume any mixture or herbal preparation that do not have NAFDAQ number. It could be deadly. Too much monosodium glutamate food seasoning that comes as cube or in sachet can be dangerous to your health. Do not add any chemical to food or drink to make it sour or improve taste. Safe food. Everyone's business. NAFDAQ. Safeguarding the health of the nation. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, you're watching NAFDAQ and your health. Beyond food safety problems caused by the nefarious activities of food frosters, a vast majority of these cases stem from ignorance, which is why part of NAFDAQ's strategy is to engage stakeholders through public enlightenment, starting with its own officers. Some people do things not because they want to harm the next person, but simply they are ignorant of what the right practices are. So a lot more needs to be done to bring them up to that level where they understand that these things can cause illness and people can actually lose their lives on account of foodborne illnesses. And so that is why the information is critical, the education is critical, right? So because if you do not know what to do, then you just don't know. So if you don't know that you are supposed to wash your hands 
before you take a meal because the naked eyes cannot see the millions of germs that we accumulate in the course of a day. So you want to eat food, you must wash your hands and not just with water, you must wash your hands with soap and water and make sure that you have done the washing the way it should be done before you consume food. If you are eating fruits, you need to wash your fruits before you eat them. So essentially, whatever you are doing, and that's what comes with the education, because if you don't know, you don't know. So if that education is not there, that food safety education is not there, then it, it is a problem. And that's the whole essence of um, what we talk about, uh, transforming food systems. Because the reason why you are doing that is to ensure that those food systems can deliver foods that are safe, of good quality, that give you healthy diets, which turn into good nutrition, and at the end of the day, that leads to better health. It is NAVDAC's responsibility to make pronouncements and recommendations for product registration using the quality systems inspections techniques. This is a risk-based inspection that looks at the inherent risk. Inherent risk is the risk involved in the manufacturing process, manufacturing, processing, and packaging of regulated products. Now, how do we achieve this in EFSAN? We achieve this by using the six systems of GMP, and that's the six quality, uh, quality inspection techniques that aid in, the assessing GM, in assessing GMP inspections. And the first one is the quality management system. Please take note of some of these things because, as I said, we're all inspectors. We can find ourselves anywhere. Maybe not even in EFSAN, but in the following inspection that we all carry out. Basically, we use a risk-based approach in carrying out our inspections. All right, so we have the quality management system. We have the facilities and equipment system. We have the production system itself. We have the material management system, packaging and labeling system, and laboratory control system. When most of you come are about to go for foreign GMPs, you usually come for briefings. And this is basically what we brief you about. So that when you go to any facility, depending on what they're producing, you will now know what are the risks inherent in uh, manufacturing that particular product. Food safety actually starts on the farm. And so, NAFDAC also has its spotlight on how farm produce are being cultivated to ensure that cases of food safety are nipped in the bud. 60% of the cost of production of egg, milk, meat on your table, 60% of that cost of production goes to the food that animal so, the safety and quality of the food shed, especially food of animal origin, is directly influenced by the safety and quality of the animal feed. Believe me, friends, if your feed is contaminated, you have 100% assurance that the animal product you are going to get from that animal will definitely be contaminated. No wishes, no witchcraft. No demon is doing that. It's just a normal pathway. You feed excess fat, you get fat residue. It's as simple as that. And that is why we need to note that whatever you feed to that animal is actually what you are eating. Participants loaded the event as being most insightful and definitely will enhance the agency's work in dealing with the challenges of food safety in Nigeria to guarantee better health for all its people. We are celebrating the fourth Food Safety Day today to enjoy the world in celebrating food that food business is our business. We've never had it the way it went today. In fact, today's own is superb in the sense that it involves capacity building. You know, a lot of topics have been discussed on food fraud. We see some videos that show what really happened in the feed concerning the facilities we have visited routinely. So today's own is the step ahead of what has been happening in the past. So kudos to the management and particularly the director of Epson for what he has done today. The program is quite insightful and um, quite interesting because we are talking about safer food, safer health. By implication, it means to enjoy a safer health, you have to work at it. It is not take, you should not take it for granted. You have to be mindful of what you eat. You have to be able to, you know, 
read labels, you get information about the nature of the product, the type of ingredients, and everything that has to do with food safety. I think we had a very good, um, a good program. The whole idea of um, the whole idea of styling this as a capacity building event for today was to impart knowledge. Okay and to ensure that um, we also participate in uh, creating that awareness, generating positive actions. We had about, uh, we had five presentations drawn from different areas of um, food safety. We looked at also some quality issues. So I believe that at the end of today, it will not just be another talk shop because we had our presenters in an interactive session, sit down as a panelist and take questions, um, useful and insightful questions, which also shed more light on the whole issue of um, food safety and embedding it as a culture within the NAVDAC, um, the NAVDAC system, especially for the food inspector, so that they understand and appreciate the importance of the job that we do. And we will also stand to be advocates wherever we go. You know, because we each of us come from homes, we come out from communities, we operate in different uh, sectors beyond the workplace. And so it's important that we have this message to take out there. So it doesn't end today with a celebration of a World Food Safety Day. It's something that goes away with us and we are speaking the language of the food safety and entrenching food safety in that space where it becomes um, important and people realize that it is an important public health uh, issue. So essentially that is, that is it. We're hoping that the, um, the officers, the staff that participated will take this message out there and uh, share with their colleagues and actually practice the things we spoke about today. And so that is the hope. So it doesn't die today with just being a celebration. It goes on with us into the rest of the things that we do regarding uh, food safety. That's our package for today. Please join us same time, same station next week for a fresh edition. In the meantime, if you have comments, complaints, or you want to report activities of fake drugs or adulterated food product peddlers, our doors are always open. You can reach NAFTA via toll-free numbers. For inquiries, call 0700-162-3322. For complaints, call 0800-162-3322. You may also email nafdac at nafdac.gov.ng. If you have complaints about any form of misconduct, you can reach the reforms unit via email. Reforms at nafdac.gov.ng or call the reforms hotlines on 0909-763-0503. Seven six three zero five zero seven. NAFDAQ, customer focused, agency minded. Importing, producing, distributing, and selling fake drugs and cosmetics, adulterated food, and so on are criminal activities that destroy lives. Join the fight against these heinous crimes by reporting any suspicious activity in your area to NAFDAQ. Let's join hands to safeguard the health of our nation. See you next week. Stay safe.